Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutsarov and this is going to be Librosan, Libro Moon and uh, Libro Rising weekly tarot reading for March 18th to March 24th, uh, 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, once again I want to remind you that this is going to be a, a general reading for Libro Star Sign and uh, for that reason the reading is going to resonate in a different way and uh, in a different level for every single different Libra. But if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and uh, to give it a prediction for the future, then that is the subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Uh, which are starting from just as little as $12 because I decided to keep the promotions for the month of March as well to make myself accessible for as many people as possible. So that being said, going to the uh, Libra star sign, the first card which is marking the topic of the Libra's week that is going to be the Hierophant. Is the Hierophant, right? Yeah, the Hierophant. Uh, then the second card that is going to be the negative approach toward the topic and that is going to be the uh, Ace of Cups. Followed by the third card which is going to be the positive approach toward the topic that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles. And the last card which we do have that is the final outcome of growth and we do have the Judgment. Okay, so once again... First one uh, topic, we have the Hierophant followed by uh, the negative approach that is going to be the Ace of Cups, positive approach that is going to be the Ten of, of Pentacles and the last one uh, which is the final outcome of growth, this is going to be the Judgment. Alright, so uh, Libras, it does look like that this is going to be a week of a lot of, um, a lot of con contemplation and as well a lot of, of conversations. Uh, in between you and probably, I can't say government institutions really, but it's because the people that you're going to have these conversations being cancelled, being taught and so on and so forth are going to be more like in, in the professional spectrum, if I may express myself that way. Uh, just to give you straight away an example of that, if you want to go through a divorce, maybe this is a week where you cancel yourself with lawyers uh, and so on and so forth. Or if you have some sort of a, an issue, you may cancel yourself with a therapist and so on and so forth. And now that is uh, the card here which signifies uh, these uh, meaningful conversations of your behalf that is going to be the Hierophant. Because the Hierophant, in the very general meaning, it does uh, says that you throughout the week you're going to be taught, you're going to be counseled how to um, resolve your difficulties. Because the resolution of your difficulties that you're facing, the plights either career-wise or either relationship-wise, does uh, reside in the framework of already existing convictions. Meaning that you don't have to do anything uh, sophisticated, you know, anything difficult, but for one or another reason, probably you are leaving what you gotta do as the last option available. And now you, you kinda like have to counsel yourself with a uh, experienced person, the very least, if I may express myself that way, uh, in order for you to obtain the, um, the determination from your behalf in order to exert your uh, exert what is needed in order to overcome uh, your difficulties should you face difficulties in any way. On the grand scheme of things, the Hierophant, it's the father of the hierarchy, meaning that throughout this week things are to happen exactly in the way that they are established, either by uh, the uh, government law or by the human nature as well. That being said, unpredictable maneuvers from your behalf are not going to breed any kind of good results whatsoever, at least according, uh, according to this card. But uh, what I can tell you, just looking through uh, from the Hierophant, that is a rather 
potent card in case you're weak it is completely normal in a sense of that you know you go to work you come back home you spend the evening with your family and so on and so forth then this card is does does point that in your career it is unlikely that things are going to go through ups and downs meaning everything is going to be one flat line and uh, simply things are to happen exactly the way they're supposed to happen and when it comes to um kind of like personal interactions personal relationships and even intimate relationships the hierophant is about building up trust now uh one relationship going through the hierophant it's not about love at all it is a about mutual uh, reliability and as well mutual trust the love comes after because one finds the true definition of love through the uh, having the sense of stability and security and as well reliability uh, when they associate th themselves with that specific person but lastly the Hierophant, it is about if you do face difficulties throughout the week or any kind of plights, you know, they can be resolved by you addressing them in front of professionalists and in front of someone who already have been there. For example, you know, a parent of yours, elder or a friend of yours. Well, let me give you an example here for that. You want to divorce with your a wife or with your husband and that will be your first divorce. So you have little clue how to deal with that thing but you do have a friend who have couple of divorces behind their back so you can cancel yourself with them to know how the procedure go and so on and so forth so basically address the issue throughout the week the accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, star card the formation is passive enemies so well with uh, with that form very difficult formation to be interpreted guys uh, the star card it does uh, and i kind of suspected something like this seeing the ace of cups into a negative position here uh, it's the star card really signifies that whatever you are being counseled to do or being taught to do throughout that week it's going to be really the last thing you wanted to do so uh, it will require some sort of a, a blind faith into the either professionalism or the experience of the person that is teaching you or is counseling you regarding the matter that you are approaching them with for example um, you have problem with your wife going and you together deciding to go to couples therapist the couples therapist tells you what the problem is and that is the last thing that you suspected and as a matter of fact it is the last thing you want to acknowledge to be the problem okay so it will require uh, th this week is going to require uh, i don't know how to say it in english but submission is going to require a acute submission from your behalf to believe to that guy or a woman or whatever which is teaching you which is counseling you in the methods and in the ways how you can overcome a certain plight and as well you know you gotta follow the procedure either i remember that as the hierophant is the father of the hierarchy you cannot do it in any better way so whatever your lawyer says it, it has to be done whatever your therapist says it has to be done whatever your boss is saying it has to be done whatever that um, consultant is saying it is how it is uh, whatever your mother is telling you that is the thing okay so you gotta follow uh, those who have better experience than you or bigger experience than you into those fields that you are addressing a certain issues so if you went for example if you went to a tarot reader you gotta do what the tarot reader told you if you go to numerologist you gotta do what the numerologist tells you no matter if you're gonna like it or not as a matter of fact with these cards you may not like it at all but you know it is what it is and if you're not ready to follow the established rules and you know the already existing patterns then it's uh, it's highly unlikely that you are to find resolution to your difficulties very very uh, soon or at least it's not going to be as productive as it can be should you follow the already established path um, um, one thing comes to my mind if we go with the divorce example here you know let's say you go to the um, to a lawyer 
for the divorce and the lawyer tells you the divorce can happen really easy, you know, but you gotta split the property, the, the accommodations that you do have 50-50 because this is the law and you say, no way, I want everything, you know, or at least 70% of it. And then you're not gonna resolve your issue because at the end of the day, this is the law, you know, you get 50-50, that's it. You may appeal, you may dispute it, but that's the law. So you gotta follow, like I said, either the universal law or the government law or whatever throughout this week as you cancel yourself regarding it. Which uh, leads us to the second card here that is the Ace of Cups and the things that you should not do. And uh, literally the Ace of Cups, it's pointing, hoping for a miracle to happen that is going to resolve your issue. That is not gonna happen, all right? In the sense of that, there are going to be no new circumstances which are changing the routes of your situation. If we go with the divorce example, there won't be any new circumstances which are to allow you to get 70% of the accommodations. It is 50-50, that's it. Or, um, <clears throat> you know, you have a difficulties at work, your boss tells you what you gotta do, you don't like what you gotta do, and you hope that something is going to happen that is going to relieve you from what you gotta do. That's not gonna happen with the Ace of Cups sitting into that position. So um, here the Ace of Cups is only pointing that you gotta do what you gotta do. It's, it's just as simple as that, and the whole reading is as simple as that. But at the end, uh, with these couple of cards here, Libras, if you do what you gotta do, uh, it looks like that your problems resolve at the end of the week and you finally are going to find your way out of difficulties but we are going to get there in, um, in a few minutes. So additionally to that, uh, the Ace of Cups into this position, it does point that you may not be very, you know, exhilarated and very pleased of the maneuvers and the actions that you gotta take in order to make an improvement into your situation. But it is how things are, you know. What I like to say in these kind of cases is that one coin has two sides. And if you want to have the coin, meaning the wealth, you got to attend to the as and to the tail as well, where tail is either the chores or these unpleasant actions that one gotta take in order to achieve one goal. Let's say that you wanna restructure or rearrange your apartment while the goal is awesome and you buy all the furniture and that is, and that is exhilarating, you know, you got to also attend to the chore fitting that furniture into your home and making a mess out there. That is just an example, guys. So with the Ace of Cups here, you gotta be ready to uh, face as well the, um, the negative aspects of the, or rather like the unpleasant, it's not negative, there won't be any negative aspects here, Libra, but the unpleasant aspects to uh, the undertaking, or rather like to the, to the process of proceeding with the undertaking that you are counseling yourself with, or seeking for a, a particular help. The uh, four of ones here, the formation is passive enemies. It does point that things haven't been decided yet. So you do have what to do in order to stabilize your situation. The cycle of development is far from over and there are so many more um, minor details to be attended in order for you to stabilize your situation, either at career, either at work, uh, and or either into, uh, into your relationship, life, or marriage, or you name it. It is just all comes to that, to analyze thoroughly, uh, thoroughly the matters, and really you got to, you got to talk about it. It is all about that. It is, this is all about with the Hierophant card. You got to talk about it with, uh, with specialists. What comes to my mind here as an example, you know, it's uh, in these um, old movies where a cop kind of like shoots a guy or accidentally through a friendly, friendly fire kills his partner, uh, unfortunately, and so on and so forth. And they go to therapist and therapist tells them, uh, you know, a psychic therapist, um, psychiatric therapist, excuse me, and they tell them how to overcome the pain 
but it's kind of difficult to do so and they struggle. Yeah, it's not pleasant what they gotta do. They have to go back to work and fit with the new environment and so on and so forth. It's not pleasant, but it's the only way. That, that's what the, uh, the cards are pointing here for you, Libras. There is only one way how you can do things and that is the right way right now. As I know, Libra, uh, I can very tightly connect the uh, or relate this, uh, this reading with them and probably I'm going to have a call after I'm done with all the readings here and tell them what comes uh, for this week if they don't if that Libra doesn't look at uh, doesn't take a look at my uh, weekly reading you know but yeah I can tightly relate it to uh, to that Libra that I know but yeah guys you gotta do what you gotta do even if it isn't pleasant um, Let's say that you know your partner cheated on you. There is only one way how you can resolve the situation, and you know what that is. You can you can cancel yourself with lawyer or anything, but at the end of the day, uh, once again, you got to resolve your issues in the traditional way. <clears throat> the the third card here, which is. Uh, the positive approach toward the situation, that is the Hierophant card, it is the Ten of Pentacles. So, uh, first and foremost with the Ten of Pentacles, uh, you, everything, you need to know that everything depends on you. Yeah, you can, uh, you can be um, cancelled what you gotta do, but at the end of the day, you gotta do it. That is first thing. Second, with uh, the uh, Ten of Pentacles, all of your actions needs to be in a, such a direction placed that the result is to you, you to reach bigger personal independence. Resolving your issues into your relationship um, and talking about them for you can um, kind of like achieve better personal independence there, meaning the relationship to become more balanced, meaning two people attend to their chores, Equally, uh, with the Ten of Pentacles as well, it is a, about a, a very well-made investment, either in time, either in um, effort, you know, either in money as well. So if you are to invest in a business, then this reading points that there are, there is a certain way how you can do it. At this reading, um, associates you consulting yourself with business consultant, financial advisor, and so on and so forth. They tell you what you gotta do. You may not like it because it's gonna cost more than you anticipated, but it is how it needs to be done, all right? So these are accurate investments, or rather like the right investments that you gotta do based on the advice that these people are giving you, either lawyers, you know, therapists, and so on and so forth. And as well, uh, in this particular case, Libras, the um, Ten of Pentacles asks you to have trust, all right? To have trust to those people who already have been there or they studied for it. It is all that this card is all about. Uh, <clears throat> in a very superficial level, Ten of Pentacles in this position may regards to that. Person from your past comes around you know, you are reluctant to take them back. It could regard to reconciliation. And that's why you're consulting yourself with a good friend of yours who already reconciliated, okay? And based on that decision, based on this talks, you are to decide should you take that person back or should you not take that person back. But uh, once again, whatever decision you make, it should be completely, completely independent in a sense you take under uh, consideration that, um, that advice. But <clears throat> if, uh, this, if taking back this old guy or old girl, your ex or whatever, uh, is going to tie you too much to one specific situation, then you should not make it at all. I mean, you should not take them back. Again, we're talking about balance and how things should go in a natural way. And in one relationship, there is nothing more natural than one relationship being balanced. And the next card that we do have, or the accompanied card here, this is going to be the Six of Pentacles. One more card for hierarchy. And it's the formation here is a uh, passive uh, supporters. And it does mean that your finances, uh, not finances, excuse me, but your investments, whatever invest investments you do regarding the um, advice and the counsel you obtain at the start of the week, 
uh, are going towards it. The um, Six of Pentacles is regarding the flow, you know, and everything goes with the flow and you should go with the flow, all right? And going with the flow means following the traditional way once again. If you try to struggle against the flow or swim against the flow, the only thing that you're going to achieve is sitting into one place and struggling on top of that. Additionally, with the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles as well, it does point that this is as far as it goes when help counsel a advice no one can uh, no one can exert actions for your behalf so ultimately you will have to do the hard part here or the hard work like we saw with the ace of uh, cups you may not like what you got to do but you got to do it if you want things to succeed so um let's say that uh, you are well, how, how do you say it, guys? It's not sexually molested, but uh, when, for example, when a colleague of yours, it's kind of like uh, making these gestures that they want to have a sex with you or anything, you know, it's kind of like, um, I, I don't know how you say it in English, you know, and they are constantly terrorizing you, chasing you, sending you those uh, inappropriate emails and so on and so forth. And maybe you don't want to escalate the issue, but th this is the traditional way, you know, you gotta file for either restraining order or you gotta bring them, they, they bring the matter to your boss or to the authorities and so on and so forth. It is how you gotta do it. It may be unpleasant, it will be uncomfortable for everyone, but it, 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 it has to be done if you want these things to stop. That is just an example, however. So the last card that we do have for you, Libras, which is uh, the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot here, this is going to be the judgment. And the judgment is pointing that finally, should you follow these traditional ways, at the end, a third option or a new option available is appearing to you, which is a result of that traditional follow-up, which is the option that gives you the way out of difficulties. Everything falls in its place, especially if you are following, if you are finding yourself in a very difficult, baffling situation, you don't know what you gotta do with either your partner into a relationship or with your thing, with your job and so on and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> Following these therapeutic advices and these therapeutic help, benevolent help that is, um, from a, a very wise person who definitely knows what how things are and they have the necessary experience. Uh, at the end of the week, you will definitely know how you got to what you gotta do in order to improve severely your circumstances because this is what the judgment is all about. Finding the right way, the right niche which you gotta press, the right button which you gotta press in order to severely improve your circumstances either regarding career or either regarding relationship. I don't like to speak for health, Libras, but now looking at these cards, if you do have um, <clears throat> reproductive issues and you seek a, a medical help for that, I do believe with these cards that this week, it's a very potent week that a solution for your difficulties are, is to be found. You know, you, go, you wanna have a child, but for some reason you can't conceive. And now this week you go to uh, a, a doctor, you know, to get tested and so on and so forth. It is very likely that they are going to find the issue, find the problem and resolve it or give you a, a way to resolve it. Should you follow that way? Well, that depends entirely on you. But at the end, uh, with the um, <clears throat> judgment card, everything falls in its place and everything starts making sense and you can see what exactly needs to be done in order for you to uh, press forward and to improve severely your circumstances. The second card, the accompanied one, that is going to be the lovers. The formation here is uh, active friends. So the, harmo the harmony is going to be restored. Uh, whatever issues you have, which are peripheral accompanying the main issue here that you are ca counseling yourself for, or uh, being, uh, you know, being guided for is going to start resolving on their own accord. 
and uh, it, it does look like that uh, whatever major decision for yourself you got to do for your future, either regarding career or either, either regarding relationship, is going to be much, much easier to be taken and much more satisfiable when you do it or when you take that decision because at the end of the day, it's not going to be a decision at all, but you will have to decide for yourself personally not for the universe or anything else what you gotta do or what you want to do and it's going to be a personal preference of everybody uh, for example if you don't care about money you can start working whatever you like to work but if you care about money you can work something really annoying but in the same time very well paid it will be entirely based on your personal preference what i mean here guys is that should you follow the traditional way the uh, the, uh, the guidance that this mentor, I will name it mentor, that, that it gives you the counseling here and you aim to resolve your issues in the already existing framework of the established convictions, even if it may not be something of your liking that you gotta do, at the end is going to resolve, I could say, every uh, all of your issues and is going to open you a such a big door for the future giving you the power to um, basically forge your faith. So that being said, Libras, this was your um, weekly tarot reading for March uh, 18th to March 24th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, that was a general reading for Libra star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Libra. But if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you a prediction for the future, uh, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, which are starting, by the way, for just as little from just as little as $12. For reason being, I decided to keep the... Um, sales the special sales for the months of march as well rod signing out now see you next time bye